92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. The woman on the phone for a second date update today met the dude that she wants to call in one of the sexiest ways possible. How's that? She was helping him out with a little interior design. That's right. You think interior design is sexy? So sexy. Oh. You know what? I think this room needs a complete rehaul. We need to strip down the walls all the way to the studs, Uh don't you think? Ooh, ooh. Those studs look a little weak. Maybe they need to be reinforced so they can handle a little more weight. <laughs> Looks like this building hasn't been retrofitted for earthquakes. Let's try to shake the floor a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. See if it can handle the kind of stress. <laughs> Carol is on the phone right now. Apparently, she's an interior designer. And she met the guy that she wants to call while she was helping him design his place. Oh, very What's simple. up, Carol? Hi, guys. Hey, Carol. Uh, did it happen just like I envisioned it in my head? <laughs> Oh, sure it did. <laughs> I, bet, I bet your profession has never sounded as hot as the way Jubal described it. No, no. You know, I've, I've taken places down to the studs, but uh, just put the whole new light on it. Yeah. yeah. You know what your living room needs? A stripper pole. Oh. <laughs> and for me to get on it real quick, that's what every place needs. Oh my God, I love it. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Are you? Because Jubal's the one on the stripper pole. Let's all remember yeah. that. <laughs> so well, now I don't know. <laughs> so how did you go on a date with this guy? What's his name? Well, his name is Ken. Ken. And he called my business and he wanted me to come to do a consultation on his new interior design layout for his condo. Oh. Okay. So this is routine for me and I made an appointment. And I went to his place, and he opened the door. And as soon as he opened the door, I felt this instant attraction. (laughs) So you're you're like, I had no idea he was going to be hot. How do I do my job now? Yeah, well, hello, Ken. (laughs) (laughs) Let me enter your condo. It really threw me. I I mean, but I'm, I'm a professional. And I went in. The whole time you're just like, oh, this place needs air conditioning because yeah. I am <laughs> burning up, Ken. And he's like, it's actually pretty cool in here. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Did Ken give you any indication in the very beginning that he was feeling that same chemistry that you were? Not right away. But then as the meeting went on, he, he brought up something personal. And then I started feeling a vibe. Oh, oh. Really? Well, that's good. Whoa. What did he say? He brought up the fact that he was divorced, and that's why I told him that I was recently single as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he, and he didn't, like, start crying and lamenting his failed marriage or anything at that point? No. Okay. <laughs> right. At the end of the appointment, he actually said that he enjoyed our meeting and he would like to take me to dinner. Nice. Oh, so that is definitely more than just interior design. Yeah, and I usually don't mixed work (laughs) with dating but this guy was really hot (laughs) (laughs) Carol couldn't help herself did you actually go to dinner with him I did a couple of days later we met at his condo Mm -hmm. and he told me there was a great little local place so we walked we walked over and we had a really nice dinner and that's kind of a setup for him having to walk you back to his place too Yeah, I was a little hesitant about that, but, you know, I had been there for a professional meeting, so Mm -hmm. I felt it was okay. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Cautious Carol. (laughs) Cautious Carol. (laughs) So we walked back to his place after dinner, and I told him I had a really nice evening, and I I kissed him on the cheek, and and then I left. Okay. Okay, so you guys didn't kiss on the lips or do more than that? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I, that's ridiculous blushing. for me to think. I apologize yeah. for asking a question. I just wanted to make sure. And were there any awkward moments during your guys' dinner or date? I've been thinking about that. And maybe I was talking too much about my divorce and my ex-husband, maybe more than I should have. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would say at all. Mm-hmm. Was, at all. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't bring that up at all. Was he talking about his too? He talked about it a little, so... I felt that 
I could as well, but maybe I just went too far. Is your talk about your divorce like, hey, we split up amicably and now we're friends? Or is it, I hate that mother? (laughs) (laughs) It wasn't really either of those. I mean, I just talked about it and talked about it and and maybe for about a half an hour. Oh, That's a long time to focus on your divorce during a date. (laughs) Carol, were you in it and thinking, how do I stop myself? He was asking questions, so I was just answering. Uh, And I didn't think I was doing anything wrong because he seemed curious. So I just, I continued the conversation. All right. And how long has it been since you've talked to him? Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. And are you interested in calling him for a second date or you're just upset because he hasn't called you back to finish decorating his place? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. All right, thanks for being honest about it. All right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update, okay? Okay. Okay, hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for today's second date update, Carol is on the phone, and today she wants to call a guy named Ken. They bonded over the fact that they're both divorced. Mm-hmm. And now she's hoping she can get him on the phone and find out why he's not calling her back. So maybe they can go on a second date, yeah. and then they can see if their divorce stuff fits together nicely. <laughs> what? If it still weird. works. Yeah. That's what, is that a correct way to recap everything, Carol? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Really? So, <laughs> you know, sometimes correct? you're divorced yeah. and you don't know if things are working correctly <laughs> after a few years. So you guys want to check it out and make sure that everything is still in working okay. order because the now, equipment hasn't been used in a while. That's I'm not assuming. what I, I didn't know you were talking about you that. You were it, Brooke. Oh, I yeah, thought you I thought were you talking were... about like, you know, the emotional baggage and, no. No, and no, no, how just... you create a healthy relationship the next time. No, no, no nope. not at all. I was just talking about mashing up things and seeing if everything works oh, right. like it used to. It will be interesting to see if that does happen. <laughs> It will be, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Carol. I'm about to dial his phone number and get him on the phone. Let me just refresh everybody's memory. You met him because he hired you as an interior designer for his new condo, and you guys went to dinner, but you feel like maybe you talked a little bit too much about your divorce during your date, and that's why he's not calling you back. I think that may be it. Maybe he's just not ready to date yet. Yeah, yeah that's true. Maybe. Well, let's find out. I'm going to dial his phone number right now and see if we can get you an answer, okay? Great. Okay. Hi, may I speak to Ken, please? Yeah, this is Ken. Ken, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Uh, from who? Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I heard of you. What's, what's going on? Well, we're, we're calling people today doing a survey, asking a little <laughs> bit about our listening audience. Uh, can you answer a few questions for me real quick? <laughs> so dumb. Uh, yeah, real quick. Okay, how old are you? No. That is not appropriate. 43. 43. Okay. Have you ever been divorced before? What? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Cool. Have you recently gone out on a date with a girl named Carol who's also divorced? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, man. I don't know how much you know about our show, but have you ever heard a second date update? No. No. Okay. Well, what that is, is it's where if you go out on a date with someone and then not call them back after they email us to see if we can get you on the phone and ask why. So Carol actually emailed us about you and she told us how you hired her to decorate your place and then you ended up taking her out for dinner and now you're not calling her back. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, you know, I I don't feel like I should go into all that on on the radio. Well, she actually kind of wants you to. Why? <laughs> because she liked you, and she wants to know what the reason is. Did she do something wrong on the date? I mean, it was just it was just kind of strange, and I, I don't know, my, it probably embarrassing for her, so I, I really don't want to get into it. Oh. Well, if you're saying that it's something that's going to embarrass her, she's prepared to be embarrassed. I mean, she's the one that emailed us to do this segment, so. Yeah, but I mean, she told me. I don't know if she would want me telling everybody who's listening to this. Well, that's kind of the deal when you do this. We tell you beforehand, like, you have to be willing to air whatever dirty laundry it is, and you have to be willing to hear something that might be embarrassing, so she knows. She's totally clueless. Uh, okay. (laughs) All right, well, yeah, I don't know how much she, like, told you about the date, but, you know, we, we were talking, and both of us had been divorced, so we were just talking about some of our experiences with that, and, uh... 
apparently she's had four different husbands. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That's a lot. She only it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean She only told us about one divorce. Or at least made it sound like she only had one divorce. Yeah. Oh no. No, no, no. Um <laughs> this is really uh Okay, so yes, she had said she had four. Um, okay. Two of them were actually divorces. Okay. One of them, I'm, and I'm, I mean, I, I swear this is how I remember it. She said that she doesn't actually know where he is. He's, wait, he's missing? <laughs> like she, and the words she actually used were missing in action and then like <laughs> laughed about it. So wait, it's not. It wasn't like a legit military thing. I don't think so. I mean, she. If it was a military thing, I don't think she would have laughed. I mean, yeah. she yeah. laughed. Like oh, she doesn't know man. where he is, and she laughed about it. So isn't she like technically still married to him? I don't. I, I honestly, I didn't want to ask much beyond that. Um, <laughs> but she had said that she had been married four times. So you know, I was like, well, what about the last one? And she told me that he died. Did she laugh about that too, or yeah. was that a sad moment for her? No, she she offered that, and you know, so I was trying to be sympathetic, and she was sort of cavalier about that too. She said that apparently they were in the Caribbean, and he he fell off of a hoverboard. What? Oh my wow. God! That is a crazy story. Did she kill these guys? No, she did not kill these <laughs> guys. Why are you thinking that? That is the most ridiculous okay. conclusion. Okay. I, I have something to say here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Ken, that's Carol. She's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. And apparently she has something to say now. Yes, I do. I do have something to say okay, here. Well, I, now's I, your opportunity. Carol, say it. Okay, I don't, I don't know where you got the impression that I was being cavalier. I was, I was being honest with you. And, and, and if a woman can't be honest... I, I, what's the point? Oh, true, true. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I understand. I, I did feel like I was being sympathetic, but I, I mean, I was kind of taking it off the fact that you were like, you laughed about it, which I thought was kind of <laughs> no, weird. No, no, I did not laugh. I don't know. I don't even know where you got that from. Okay. <laughs> and, and I have to tell I thought we were having a really nice evening and I felt like you were someone that I could open up to. But it seems like you're being a real jerk about this. Oh. Hold on. No, I, I'm not being a jerk about this. I mean, I, I, I was being really, like I said, I was being really sympathetic to, with you. But honestly, you started off to tell me you were divorced and then went to tell me you had four husbands. You <laughs> were joking about one that totally disappeared. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Did I tell you he was missing in action? Yes. <laughs> but the police don't even know where he is. <laughs> So, oh my God. By missing in action, do you mean he was in the military? No, he played the ukulele. I, <laughs> like, like as he a. He was not the person I thought I married. Okay, okay, so he was a ukulele player that just disappeared on you. He wasn't just any ukulele player. He was damn good at it. Okay. He was a professional. I am. Okay. And one day he just disappeared. You know how those musicians are. Maybe he just decided to go on the road and, you know, write some songs and stuff. Who knows? I am fascinated by your life right now, Carol. (laughs) Well, I don't need you to be fascinated. I'm really embarrassed by by what's going on here. I don't think you have anything to be embarrassed about, Carol. I mean, a lot of this is out of your control. Missing in action, a freak hoverboard accident. I mean. No, it's not my fault. And, And my four failed marriages had not nothing to do with me and and i don't want to get married anymore I, i'm done okay. i've had enough marriages guys i think what's getting lost in all this is like this came out all on a first date yes <laughs> which was a little bit much for me to handle i mean yeah. it started off really friendly but then we're going into hoverboard accident and disappeared <laughs> and and drinking and laughing and like i that's not a first date conversation in my opinion well, ken you know what how about you shut up i think i've heard oh. enough from you today <laughs> whoa carol I, well, we still I need mean, to... you know what carol I'm, I'm sorry but the way that you're talking right now like i'm starting to get a sense of maybe what happened to that third husband oh. <laughs> you know what ken that's really a Stupid remark. Oh. And if Hank were alive today, he'd beat you over the head with this ukulele. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you said you didn't know what happened to him. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm just 
just I'm just assuming that he's dead because I haven't heard from him in years. Okay. okay. All right, guys. I, clearly, I am not the crazy one here. Am I alone on this now? I think I think you are. I will never say anything mean against Carol ever. I think Jubal is making her? a wise choice. Ken, would you like to go out with Carol one more time on a second date? We will pay for it. <laughs> no, I, I mean oh. the the thought of even possibly being missing or dead husband number five <laughs> is a terrifying thought. I don't oh. want to go anywhere near that. You know what, Ken? I didn't even want to go out on another date with you. Now that I've heard all this, oh. and and you you can cancel our interior design contract because oh, no. I am done. Oh. Okay, I don't want you back in my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least everybody agrees. Yeah. I wouldn't even go in your place anymore. And for your information, that color palette you had was tackier than the jacket you wore when we went out to dinner. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, Interior she got design. you. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Broken and Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 says, did she just admit to murder on the radio? <laughs> and talking about... Today's second date update, Carol wanted to call a dude named Ken. They went out on a date, and she was talking about her ex. Her ex is. Uh We came to find out when we got him on the phone. She's had four husbands, two normal divorces. The other two kind of disappeared. We don't know. (laughs) Very mysteriously. Yeah. (laughs) Well, one died. Actually, uh, did die. She knows he's dead. And the other one was like, I don't know how he disappeared. So... Ken was a little nervous about continuing a relationship with her. We do have a possible sighting of the ukulele player, though. Really? Yeah, someone said that there's a player that wanders around my town. Uh, Maybe it's her ex-husband. She said that one of her ex-husbands played the ukulele, and (laughs) he was a professional, and he just took off and had never been heard from again, and that's where he was like, (laughs) did he take off or did he disappear at the hands of you? So there you go. Thanks for the hot tip on that. We'll Uh investigate. Remember, if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person who didn't call you back. 92.5.